The case before us today is that of the defendant who stand accused of destruction and brutality during wedding. My lord. Mrs. Bella. Yes, my lord. I would like you to give me a detailed account of what happened between you and Mr. Daniel. Okay, my lord. The story goes like this. Back then, when I was in Form 5, this guy over here, he paid my fees. He actually paid all the necessary bills. He paid it. When even my, my parents were sick, he paid their hospital bills. When I was in Form 5, he paid my fees. During the lower C level, he paid my fees. Upper C, he did pay up to the university level. When I was in the second year in the university, I don't actually know what happened, but he just suddenly stopped texting me, no no, no calls. I tried calling him, but he does not answer. When I text, he does not reply. I went several times to his house, knocking, nobody answered. I stayed outside for hours, nobody showed up. So I went back home, and I was always lonely. I met, I met this guy from another, from another department. So he, he was trying to call me. So I went there, I was very happy. I thought maybe I could do something. Maybe I was very proud of myself. Well, at least I can make something for him to be happy. But when going there, my lord, I could not believe what happened on that day. I went there trying to talk to him. He turned me down. He used to tell me he don't want to cheat his thoughts like me. That I should move on. I should move on with my life. On that day, I was so heartbroken. I went back home crying. I was so frustrated. The next day, I went to school. I went to school, my lord. I met the same guy. I met the same guy. He tried to console me. From there, we became friends. From friends, we became lovers. And decided to get married. Went to the village. He met my people. He did the best with himself. And on my way to me, I never knew how the rumors went. I never knew how the room of God And on my way there on stage, me and my wedding gown, this idiot here, he slapped me. My Lord, he slapped me on my wedding day. Can you imagine what this idiot did? My Lord, I think I could not explain it. I cannot explain the pain I felt on that day. I cannot explain the pain on my wedding day. Oh, um, Mrs. Bella. My inspector is going to ask you maybe one or two questions. Okay, my inspector. lord. Thank you, my lord. Okay, Miss Bella. Your ex boyfriend said he lost his job because of you. Were you fully aware? No, I was not aware of all that. You were not aware then? How did you know about him? I don't know anything about him. He never told me anything because by then he had blocked me. He was not called. When I called him, he was not pick. When I even text, he does not reply. I tried visiting him, he's not always around. I don't know if he's inside, he does not want to open the door, so I don't know because all those years he has been the one paying my bills. So even if he went broke, I would still love him like that. I don't know why he hid himself from me. And for me going there trying to speak with him, arrange things, fix things up with him, he has to ask me to move on. Yeah. Mr. Daniel. Yes, my love. How do you play? I think you have heard what Bella has said. So, how do you plead? My lord, I plead guilty. You plead guilty? Yes, my lord. As you have decided to present yourself in court, please, may you proceed with the case. My lord, I accept before this honorable court that whatever she has said here is true. My lord, the main reason why I gave her that dirty slap not because I was angry with her, but because of the love and pain that I have gone through that made me to slap her. Because of the kind of information I got. Well, my lord, I'm sorry for that. Well, it wasn't my intention. But because of the love that I once had for her, that was what made me that's it's slap. Your Honor, 
If you permit me, I will explain to you what happened before we had this issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are permitted. No, oh, no. I had a problem with my boss. Back then, when I got shot to sponsor her with her education, it was my job and pleasure to give her that education she needs. But on getting to one point, my boss made me to understand, because I didn't tell my boss that she was my girlfriend, because I was hiding her from the world. Like, the Lord keeps us as the apple I she was my apple dead. My boss asked me to choose. My Lord, if you were the one who, in my shoes, put yourself in my shoes, you will understand what I was going through. That I should choose between her and my job. Because of the love I had for her then, I choose her and to go my job. I went through. Well, as for what she said, that maybe she comes to my house and I'm not there. My Lord, I won't lie. All what she said is true. I was always at home. But because I went home, I had to sell my food. So I had just a number of her and I would always try to call her through other phones or other accessories. But I got to a point where I could no longer because I heard some rumors that she is with another man. Then I got heartbroken even more for having left my job for her because of the love and receiving such disappointment from her. I became so sad and I hit myself. Because of that, it was I have to tell all my friends that she is the one I want to get married to. She is the one that makes my heart glad. Then I get to hear she is with another man, thereby betraying me. So for me to have been broke or short-handed was all because of the love I had for her. But you know the women of these days. Even if you tell them that you give them this kind of an explanation, they will say it's an excuse that you don't want to sponsor them. So because of that shame, I hit myself in it, trying to think on how to get a different job. So that I will take my place as a man and that dignity as a man in the, in, at the whole. My Lord. When I got to one point, and about two months after, I heard a friend of mine come running to my house. He said, Whoa, oh, young guy married to. I was like, Manga, who you guys are you talking about? Young guy, I titule. My titule, Bella, yes. But, Shosenai say yes. I said, Okay, did he marry for Usai? So he took me to the place, and when I got there, I saw their posters everywhere. So I could not believe it. I was confounded and perplexed. So I had to take my time, my mind, my courage as a man to that particular place. I took my time and went inside. All of a sudden, to my heart, Mind. Oh, I don't know. You should believe. Don't even believe me. You would have been there if, I were, if you were the one. Eh? You would give me the blow. Well, the blow, the slap wasn't for her, but for the guy that took my woman away. But since she was too emotional, she pushed the guy and it landed. On her face. So you never meant to slap your girlfriend? I never meant to slap her.
Do you in any way still have any emotional attachment to uh, Mrs. Bella? I hope you know she's fully married. No, my lord. But what I would like this court to help me do is that Bella should compensate me. What? Yes. I have been spending money on her throughout her school and on her parents too. I have given a lot of money. So what's your compensation um, amount? How much do you want her to compensate you with? Yes, my lord. Not less than the sum of 10 million. 10 million? Minimal, that would be Emotional good. damage or is it that she seems to destroy your properties? My lord, not that she destroy my properties, but just to compensate a heart that has been broken. The case of today will be adjourned. We'll bring the case next week. Ah!